Hello YouTube. So today's video, it is something epic. Uh, what I got here is an East German SBA1 chemical suit. So I'm led to believe these aren't, there's not a lot of them kicking around anymore. So I've got a size 3 here and this one's a size 1. So we've got these numbers on here so you got one which means one piece and then size is one so size one is small then you have size two which is medium size three which is this one uh, large then you got size four XL then you got size five XXL now these um, I'm having trouble finding information about them so if anyone can tell me what these things are. Um, I've got no idea. I just, what I understand is that these buckles here uh, would attach to um, the webbing of the soldier that would have been wearing it. Um, nowadays, I guess you can attach it to some molly. Um, but uh, yeah, both of these uh, came with um, these little duvalackeys. And I've got no idea what they're for, um, how you use them. But um, anyway, what I'm going to do is open it up, let you have a look at it. And um, yeah, like I said, this size here, size 3, the large, which is probably the most common size out there. Um, they're pretty hard to get a hold of, so I'm really lucky to get one. And uh, pretty excited. Alright, so let's open him up. I'm not going to open up this one because well we might one day maybe not today but today we'll just focus on this one um, so like I said this is the size 3 which is um, equates to a size large and um, hopefully it fits me I'm not sure I haven't tried it yet but anyway let's um, let's open it up so you got these snap buckles in here they're quite tight, pretty strong. Okay, so there's some numbers on here. I don't know what that means. I know here you've got the uh, SBA. Um, doesn't say the one here, it says it on the outside, and um, just uh, a bunch of serial numbers and stuff. Um, maybe that's, I don't know, maybe that's when it was from. So maybe it's from 87, not too sure if anyone knows in the comments. Um, but the suit design, I guess, was from the 70s. So it's in its little pouch like this. And here's the suit. Run out of space here. I'll just give myself a little bit more room. Okay, well, there's one foot, if you can see. Yeah. It's got, that's quite a hard rubber. That's really hard. So the suit itself is feels fairly thin, kind of like um, waders that you use for fishing. But um, that foot part feels really thick, really thick and sturdy. Um, my, I'm guessing about five mil thick. A few sticky noises from this. Um, Whatever the hell this glue is. Um, there we go, there's two legs. There's the arms. So it looks like. Nice elastic hood there. Just inside where that brown stuff is, you can 
Here yeah, it's a little stuck together. But this where all this, whatever this is. Just if we have a look at the, the arms, the sleeves, this, there's like an inner and an outer part in here. So that's where obviously your ha hand will come through and then you probably loop that around your, your thumb. Then you can put a pair of gloves over and then slide this on down. Get another buckle here. To uh, tighten it up. And what else? Feet. It's got a, another strap system here that um, you wrap that around somehow and just make it tight around your um, feet. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make sure. All this stuff inside here just comes apart or it's you know it's all ready to, to go and then I'll uh, put it on and let you see what it looks like on. So you're out for a walk today like any other day you're carrying your, um, your SBA1 around you've got your mask and stuff it's just a normal day normal weekend and then you hear that sound what do you do? This is what you do. Drop your mask. The SBA one. Get that mask on. You want to protect your lungs. And we get the suit. Now this is where you help if you have a friend because it's a little hard to do this. For this demonstration I haven't got gloves because I couldn't find them. Anyway, I'm going to get all those buckled up. Put that hood on. Maybe don't do that top button up yet. Once you're at this stage and you got your gloves on you can probably slow down a bit because you're covered so your gloves are going to go up here I just don't have any to show you pull the sleeve down wrap that around Get tight. Now this is hard to do too to get these 
in. Because the clips are quite sturdy. I can't get it in. But anyway, you got the idea. That's him. That's it, apart from getting the sleeves, I couldn't seem to get them to come on. That's it, it fits, this suit fits pretty well, size 3. Um, I've got to thank uh, the gentleman that provided me with this suit. Uh, it's pretty much the perfect size. I can um, bring it down a bit. Completely. I got perfect, perfect range of movement. So this size three fits me perfect. I'm 175 tall and about 78 kilos. So it works perfect. And yeah, thanks again for supplying me with this. You know who you are. Apologies for the lighting. Got dark pretty quick. And here I'm just trying to roll it up as tight as I can so it fits back in the bag. Uh, here rolling it up, putting the buckles on, I found out I rolled it up quite well. And it's not too hard to make it fit pretty easily. Had plenty of room left with those straps for expansion. Those clips are quite sturdy. They're not like they're not going to come loose by themselves because you can see here I'm struggling to get them to close. Well, that's it. It's back in its package, ready to go out for another adventure. Now, like I said at the start. I don't know what these little white clips are for. If anyone knows, please um, tell us in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And I hope to do a few more. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and help me on my way. Take care, guys. Cheers.